Yeah, and this one is running, just say something. Ooh. <laughs> Yo, hello, we are up and we just... You are with the show White People Renovating Houses for a more open concept. <laughs> uh, I'd really enjoy being here sitting down uh, with all the lights on my face. Okay, so yeah, we finished our bubble and I think it was a very successful event. Um, really enjoyed the two-day inhabitation in the bubble and I think it really worked out because we were experimenting from the beginning. Um, from trying out the program to see what things and types of activities you can have in the bubble to like uh, having to see if the bubble itself could uh, support having people for two days in this cold weather underneath the viaduct uh, for 4411. Um, so I think it was a really great experience overall. Um, I think that discussion, which was the main purpose of having the air bubble, really was again like uh, experimental, but at the same time, we learned a lot for the next time. Um, the discussion itself, it was more like a game, so it really made it more casual and allowed people to really have a more um, freedom and, and a different way to really reflect on the different things that were happening um, and what kind of ideas they would bring to the table and then develop um, the scenarios in order to then give us inputs about what they want in their spaces for the E411 viaduct and um, these temporary spaces right now are just uh, used as parking lots and really not uh, used to their full potential so the idea with the herb bubble on itself was to kind of uh, activate the space and on its own activate ideas to be formed there and then develop them in order to give us inspirations of what to do next. Um, so the game itself, Wish It, which is what we called it, I think was interesting and, and really developed in, on its own there because uh, from the beginning I really understood it to be more like a, a bit more like a framework of uh, having people develop their wish to an actual scenario of what they wanted in their space. But then it turned out to be more of like a discussioning point, um, which then really allowed people to be more aware um, of other people's ideas and, and how to really collaborate together in order to, to develop something and then uh, bring actually new collaborations to how they could change their, their environments. Um, and so I don't know how you saw it. Yeah, the, the, the thing is that the point of the event and of the discussion especially was to connect different people, yeah. to have people from the municipality, from like the administration. We invited even people from like the urban offices or architectural offices that are working on other game. But on the master plan. sadly, mm -hmm. like they couldn't come. Uh, there were people who are dealing with kind of uh, urban activism, people who just are inspired uh, to make interventions in the urban surroundings and locals that are interested in what is happening with the viaduct. So you had people with uh, interest but from a different point of angle. So that's, the, that's the, our main goal, to make those people connect through the activities that we do. Okay. So that is our aim to connect the different people with one interest, with the activities that we do, and make them see the different points of view and come up together, synthesize their ideas and come up together with one idea. So let's wait until <laughs> <laughs> people are coming up. So I think there were some people that didn't get why we are there with this bubble and what is happening mm -hmm. <laughs> and <laughs> what is our goal. Like, okay, you want to meet the citizens with the government and have some kind of common planning of the urban environment, but why do you do this bubble here? So the idea is to first trigger the interest of the locals, of the people that pass by <clears throat> and use the space and show them that, okay, uh, we did this bubble here and uh, because we wanted to do it. Yeah. So you can also 
participate in the creation of the urban environment that you're using, even though it's, let's say, just an environment that you spend free time and you go jogging or running? Mm -hmm. uh, so, so, yeah, I think the, the bubble itself was more like a trigger point to really have like a visual attractor. And <clears throat> that on its own really instigated the conversation and it really made it like a visual... Uh, thing where people can talk about and see how it, it affected the space itself and what kind of things were happening and that itself was the point of the bubble to to make it a conversation starter and also again in a deeper level host these conversations um another so, point yeah. another point was that it was winter time and we wanted to have this, this discussion now and probably more discussions during the months that are colder. So we were thinking, okay, we want to connect it to the spot. So what can we do? So we were thinking of kind of uh, making an intervention, which was the herb bubble that can host people on the spot during winter times. So that's another aspect of it. Yeah, and so then I think moving forward now we're going to um, have the bubble <clears throat> be this like uh, icon where you are having these discussions for the urban environment and we really would like it to take off, not just in Ottergem, but in Brussels itself. Um, yeah. And uh, I believe that now we're going to meet with Stefan from Reciclar and he also um, is very interested because of what's happening right now with Reciclar and they're being a bit kicked out for the moment. Um, so it's a very important opportunity for us to kind of, kind of host their events on place inside on Reciclar because that itself, the context that it's in, is very similar to Ottergen's context, but it's a bit more like the future of what it could be. But then it also brings in the situation of what happens um, between this whole political and uh, private and municipality public space and how can um, the herb bubble be this type of like urban activism um, kind of showing that you can st we can still host events even though Reciclar is closed at this point and that's another discussion that's going to be taking place later on of why but uh, you can still host these activities outside and so the herb bubble kind of takes this like another um, role of like really hosting the, uh, temporary activities where right now they they don't have a space for so if we see the herb bubble as kind of a discussion space that a pop-up discussion space um, it's meant to gather the different parties that are responsible or somehow participate uh, or use the urban environment which are the municipality or the private uh, sector the citizens themselves and people who are interested in design urbanism etc so that's what we are aiming at the bubble should be that point where the citizens and the municipality can meet and present their point of view. Have a horizontal discussion so there's no hierarchy yeah. when it comes to, and that's one of the things with the game is that it made it so everyone want, was was playing and developing the scenario at their own uh, their own way but also in a group setting and then there was no one really taking the lead on anything. It was just more of a uh, kind of horizontal discussion even though people had more experience or expertise were different levels um, it was kind of like a plain uh, levels for everyone if you have an uh, amusement which is both <clears throat> the environment is amusing and also the discussion itself it's a game so it's amusing the the levels of the participators are kind of going on zero level so they enable this horizontal discussion to start and nobody feels like uh, he has more priority or more more knowledge but it's more about the mixture and the meeting of the different viewpoints yeah you should come to our next event <laughs> yeah
So guys, we really would like you to come to our next event. I think uh, I will be in the summer. Um, we're making the interventions uh, and then Mass Critique is also going to be involved. So there's this whole um, scenario happening where we're having Mass Critique end at the end of the viaduct and we're going to have the revealing of our first interventions. And so you can follow us on Facebook to really find out more information on the E411 um, dot Brussels, I believe, and so you can find us there. And really, if you have any comments or feedback from our last events, if you attended, please do so. Send it to to herb um, info at herb .be. Also, we are looking for volunteers. So if you feel like you're interested in uh, experimenting with the urban environment, please contact us. Great. Yeah. Thanks.